Hi everybody, I'm Professor Robert Ko from the Division of Life Science at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. So I'm here to introduce to you the undergraduate program offered by the Division of Life Science. Okay, before we talk about the programs, let's have a little background about what is life. Okay, as shown in this train diagram, so life evolved from biomolecules inside the cell. And because of the presence of biomolecules, including enzymes, cell can perform function. Okay, and that's the functional basis of our body. So different cells form different tissue, different tissue form different organs, and then how certain organs can function and serve a particular role in maintaining our body function. So our whole body, the human being, just like an organism, a newborn baby, it functions because we have multi-organ system and to produce a holistic manifestation of function. So all I have talked about included in the topic life science. So what we are going to study life science is to understand each process in this respect. Okay, from biomolecules to cell to organs and to the whole organism. Okay, just take one example to illustrate the concept that I previously mentioned. Take the brain as an example. Now you look at the brain, okay, this is a human brain. Actually, the human brain contains many neurons, okay. Those neurons are nerve cells, what we call, are the functional unit of the brain. So through interaction of different neurons, we can manifest different functions like emotion, anger, frustration, joy. Different kind of emotion actually is a manifestation of the neuronal function. There's a cellular base and also a chemical base. And that's under normal condition. That's how we react to the environment our, from our interaction with people. Okay. However, if something going wrong when we get age, for example, some of the neuronal function of our brain decline. For example, in Alzheimer and what we call now is cognitive degeneration, degeneration of brain function. If you go down to the cellular levels, there's some kind of neuron, they become malfunctioning. They cannot function well and some neuron even die during the aging process. And that's how those patients suffering from Alzheimer's disease or degenerative disease, they can not have short-term memory. Because a memory created when you learn something, you see something, require interaction between neurons. If that kind of interaction diminish or disappear, then you don't have that function. Just an example to illustrate the concept, how important of cell function in expressing the holistic function in our body. For example, memory and other kind of function. Okay, that's what we have to learn in life, okay? Life science provide different program for us to learn this life process. And there's two aspects of life. One is the scientific factual process. The other is a more societal uh, aspect. That is how to live a life, okay? And that's out of the scope of the division of life science. But during the university study, you get lots of other chances to learn how to live a life from the present and to the future. Okay, that's also very important. But today, I will focus on telling you what are available in our undergraduate program. 
in terms of life science. Okay, life science, as I already described to you, cover a very wide area of topics. Okay, and in general, it could be say in molecular level, cellular level, and also to the more bigger, a bigger picture is a more organismal level. So it covers different topics, okay, as shown in this uh, wing diagram. Okay, different topics and in different perspective, different area, and some are more cellular, some are more holistic organismal, some are more applied in the sense that how we apply our knowledge to do something meaningful. So we have three undergraduate programs. We just, for example, for each program, we have fundamental uh, courses to set up a foundation for all students to learn life science. And then we can branch out to different emphasis in different programs. Just say in biological science, we more or less emphasize on organismal level, system level, a bigger picture about life after learning the foundation, okay? And I would say it's more holistic and at the same time, we provide a more flexible curriculum for a student if they pick biological science in the sense that the required course to complete a degree is less. And that leaves some space for students to take alternative subjects. For example, they can take courses in business, they can take courses in humanities and social science to fulfill their own ambition in university education. It's not just life science. Okay, and it is the BISC program that can provide that kind of flexibility. However, for students who want to really focus to learn more about the detail underlying our life activity, so they may pick biochemistry and cell biology. So we will study more in depth about cellular function how bar molecules interact to produce cellular function, and what are the mechanisms underlying all this function. We look into fine detail in more advanced course after learning the foundation. So this kind of training or enrichment, knowledge enrichment, could provide a good foundation for students to pursue further study in life science. For example, in postgraduate school, and also if they want to work in a research-related area, that will also will require that kind of knowledge, more in-depth knowledge to engage in such a career. And for biotechnology, the third program, also in addition to building up a foundation of knowledge, the emphasis will be put on the more applied science in life science. How we apply our understanding in the mechanism of cell function, body function, and try to use that kind of knowledge to produce something usable for human life, for our living, okay? For example, biotechnology could be applied in different areas like agriculture, in producing crops to feed the population, could produce biomedicine, biopharmaceutical, which can otherwise, uh, or which cannot be produced with the knowledge or technology in biotechnology. So traditionally, we use chemical drugs. We have the advantage in biotechnology. We can use protein drugs. And those are proteins that are produced in mass quantity in biotechnology. So, so on and so forth, environmental application could also be important. So, about in brief, 
BISC, biological science, focus on the bigger picture of life and with flexibility allows students to engage in other areas of study during the university education. Biochemistry and cell biology, more focus, in-depth understanding of life processes and good for students to engage in, say, career related to science, life science, or in postgraduate studies. Biotechnology focus a lot on the applied science or you may say commercial aspect of life science. Okay, how they apply our knowledge to commercialize certain invention to make it a problem. Okay, and that's also important for contributing the discovery of science in our society, to promoting health and also food production, to improve our environment. So all in all, the fee program provides training that will also allow students to engage in postgraduate study. Because some students may worry, okay, if I'm in BISC, I may not get a chance to, to get a second degree. This is not true, okay? Because graduate study is an added aspect. As long as you have a good foundation, then you are eligible or you are qualified to apply for graduate school. Okay, what do we want to achieve by offering this undergraduate program for students? The most primary objective is for us to understand the nature, our living environment. All our life, different forms of life are happening in our environment. And more importantly, ourselves, how our body functions. And this is very instrumental to allow us to live a healthier life. And that's, I think, the the uh, most desirable goal of everyone. Okay, under this, we are here to solve problems. We learn, we equip ourselves with relevant knowledge in life science, then we can solve problems. In the medical area, that is to heal different kind of ailments in our body, we can have new medicine, in particularly biopharmaceutical to treat those diseases which are otherwise untreatable before. Okay? And also we can use our understanding, our knowledge, our research discovery uh, to improve the disease prevention, detection, and treatment. And this is related to our health. And this is to feel to energize our body that requires energy. To enrich our life also requires a lot of energy. Okay? So we have enzymes in our body to produce energy for, for our daily function. We rely a lot of gasoline okay, to generate power, air conditioning for motor vehicle. And in the biological aspect, we can actually sustain the production of energy by developing biofuels, okay, instead of relying on those fossil fuels, okay, those will be expired. So if we can develop biofuels, that will be more sustainable. And that's important aspect, to energize our living, both internal and external. To feed, right? Everybody has to eat in order to survive. So the crop production is important. Uh, particularly in particular area of the earth, so where crops can hardly grow because of the drastic weather. So full biotechnology, we can improve the, this condition by allow plants to grow in a more drastic environment and that enable the production of enough food for the population around the area. So in summary, we saw problem concerning about healing, 
concerning about feeling our life, concerning about getting enough food for to support the population on Earth. So that's the more profound, long-term goals of life science. And you may be able to engage in one of these activities if you are interested in, and to pick one of our programs in your university studies. So one thing I want to remind you before I finish this introduction is that starting from this year, in the Jupas, under the Jupas Choice School of Science, you have option A and option B. If after this talk, you are inspired to study life science, then you have to pick option B, because only option B will end up majors in life science program. So bear in mind, if you're interested in studying life science at Hong Kong UST, Pick your Jupiter's choice under the School of Life Science, option B. Thank you very much. Hope can see you in the future.